Now I want to check out the new design and modify it. Again, I want to check out the highest rated component in the design. I'm back in Inventor and I've opened up our new design. I want to modify this design to a new size. In the browser, I'm going to expand the master part and then the third party option displaying the embedded Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to right click on that and select Edit. This puts me back into the new spreadsheet parameters. I can modify them to suit. I'm going to change the diameter and the length of our tank. We'll save the embedded spreadsheet and close it. We'll click the Update button to update the design. I'll need to update my Content Center information manually. Now we're ready to put our new design back in the vault. We'll finish up back in Vault. I've highlighted our new assembly. We now have two versions of this assembly. You can also use the Uses and Where Use tabs to confirm that this assembly does not reference the original assembly. This will complete the copy design process. We've used Inventor and Excel along with Vault's copy design to generate a different version of our base assembly. Using this process, we could generate as many versions of that base assembly as we wanted. My name is Rusty Belcher, and I'd like to thank you for attending today's Tech Tip. If you have any questions about this video demonstration, please contact your local CAD coordinator or your Avatex Solutions support representative.